welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're having a really good month. And well, if you're watching this in the month of March, hope it's hope it's been a good month. Um, and I hope you're going to have a great month. Let's take a look at exactly what you're going to have. Now, I've got a little note here that you are in the last phase of Sari Sati. I just want to check in on that. I just want to say I hope that's going okay. Um, hang in there. I just want to... Hi Scorpio Moon. Sorry, the camera just got cut there and I think I was just starting with you and I think I just mentioned Sari Sati and I was just saying how how is it going? Are you okay? Um, how has it been? Uh, you are on the final stretch, you know, hang in there. Things are going to change and remember when you come out of this you are going into a really nice Saturn phase. Saturn's going to reward you he's going to um, he does that he, he he gives you a lot before you go in and he gives you a lot when you come out so that way you know he, he sets you up before you go in so hopefully all those years before this started you did have some good opportunities that you were able to capitalize on and um, you've got some of those to look forward to when you come out all right so there's going to be some really good new opportunities hang in there uh, if it hasn't been good for you um, but you've probably got the hang of it now and you've probably got quite a hang of Saturnian energy by now as well so you know it, it can be a mix, mixed bag let's take a look at your sun in the sixth house uh, 14th of April we're going to have sun moving into Aries he'll be exalted but for you he'll be in the sixth house oh which is fantastic this is really good Sun likes being here. This is fantastic. So great health for you. Um, you know, enemies will be weakened. Uh, if you're involved in any court cases or anything like that, that can go your way. Uh, this is good for travel, especially business travel of any kind. So that's fantastic. Um, Mars in the seventh house. This is a continuation of this energy, and it's going to be on all month. So. Potential issues with spouse, potential issues with business partner, mother, mother-in-law. Um, you know, this this can be a tricky spot. My advice here would be say less. Just um, say less and be polite to everyone and get some time out and walk the dog and, you know, all those kind of things. Um, what have we got here? Venus-Mercury conjunction happening in the fifth house. So that's 16th April onwards. Uh, this is nice. When it comes to Venus, this is really good. So uh, Mercury might not be thrilled to be here. He might be a little bit worried. He might be more worried than usual. So if you're very strong with your Mercury, um, you, know, you might want to pay some attention to that. But Venus is strong here. So it's great for your creativity, um, great for art, art projects, anything you're making, time with your children, uh, great artistic time, time to be artistic. And if you're going to be engaging in artistic projects or your artistic work let your feminine side lead let your femininity lead that's the stronger of the two energies here in this conjunction so that that's just a, a thing to do to tune into that feminine side a bit more let's take a look at the new moon in your fifth house and that's happening in Pisces in Revithi Nakshatra on the 5th of April so as with everybody I've been saying this is a great time to plant a seed regarding your spirituality so you can ask yourself the question if I had a spiritual superpower what would it be and you know you could possibly uh, reap that you know so it's happening in your fifth house maybe you want maybe this is to do with your creativity and maybe this is to do with um, that like you know your prayer could be please divine work through me you know I'm, I'm creating artwork I'm painting or I'm taking photos or I'm sewing dresses or whatever it is that you do and uh, maybe you want the divine to work with you be your creative partner you know and that's a wonderful thing to wish for uh, I certainly wish for that kind of thing. I, I always want the divine working through me, through my work. I want, you know, I, I often just give give the divine my hands. And I say, use these hands. Put me, give me some good work to do. I want to do some good work. And I've been led to doing astrology, and I'm so happy. So you know, uh, this is this is working out for me. Those prayers really work. You know, you you got to you got to watch out what you wish for sometimes as well, don't you? Um, 
let's have a look we're having a full moon on in your 12th house so full moon in libra in chitra nakshatra on the 19th of april this is a beautiful uh, full moon and so really it's a culmination energy and you're going to be looking back on the picture of your life so you've got the brush the paintbrush in your hand we've got venus mercury conjunction the artist here so it's you know you've got the paintbrush in your hand and you're looking at the painting of your life and especially of your spiritual side it's happening in your 12th house so it's it's looking at that painting what, what does that look like? You can visualize it now. You don't have to wait till the 19th. You can do it now. What does it look like? Do you like it? You know, and you're holding that paintbrush and you have the power to change what's there. So maybe through the looking, you'll get some ideas on how you want to shape your life going forward. And uh, that's a lovely activity to do in regards to that full moon there. So Scorpio Moon, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little mini reading. Um, please know that you're in the last phase of, of Sali Sate. Go into my uh, meditation series below and you might want to listen to that satin meditation because it might help you if you're going through a tough time in regards to Sali Sate. Maybe you want to listen to one of my meditations below because that will just program in all the really good affirmations connected to that planet. So Scorpio Moon, I'm going to wish you well and I'm going to welcome... Sagittarius moon, Sagittarius moon, welcome, thank you so much for joining. Now I've got a note up here that you are in the mid phase of Sade Sati. I just want to check in with that, I just want to find out how's it going, I hope you're going okay, I hope, um, you know, I hope, I hope you're starting to get the hang of Saturnian energy. It's, it's not an easy one to get the hang of sometimes, especially when you're in Sade Sati, but um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a process. It's a great big, long process. And sometimes it really helps to know you're in Sati Sati. Sometimes it's really helpful because you might be exhausted, you might be tired, you might, and you might be thinking it's you. And you know what? It might not be you. It might be the planets are draining you a little bit. It might be this tough transit, this tough phase that you're going through. So don't be hard on yourself is what I'm saying. Let's take a look. We've got three uh, planetary placements to take a look at and then we'll have a look at the new moon and the full moon dates. So sun in the fifth house for you. Sun is going to be exalted in Aries, right? 14th April onwards. For you, it's happening in the fifth house. Is this good? Mm, it's not 100% good. So we've got possible issues at work, possible issues with co-workers, possible issues with authority, uh, with your spouse or your romantic partner. Arguments are, are quite possible with this energy, so you want to be careful with this. Uh, Mars in the sixth house, this is a continuation, so this is going to be in operation the whole month. And this is, I'm yes, it is indeed. I'm very happy about this for you. This is great for business. Hallelujah. My goodness, you need some good energy, Sagittarius Moon. Uh, oh good this is beautiful you got some, yes I'm very happy this is great all right good for business so let's don't worry about the sun sun's not doing much for you but Mars is doing a lot for you this is great for business great for wealth growth great for accumulation um, this is a time to tune into Mars energy specifically for business growth um, if you're involved in any court cases or anything like that know that you know you, you've got a very good chance of uh, coming through in a way that you would like and self-efforts this is the time to go 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 put your foot on the accelerator I know it's going to be a bit hard with Saturn delaying you a little bit it might be a bit stop start but um but try try with this Mars energy here this is a good time so I'm really happy for you in that regard uh, Venus Mercury conjunction happening in your fourth house this is beautiful as well 16th April onwards so both of these are really strong here this is fantastic to just be creative, um, being artistic at home, uh, redecorate your house. Time for some spring cleaning. Maybe you want to buy some beautiful little things to decorate your home. Maybe you're going to feel inspired. Maybe you're going to be out shopping. You might want to, you know, Venus loves buying things. So this is great for that kind of stuff. Uh, you've got a new moon happening in your fourth house. Pisces, Revithi Nakshatra on the 5th of April. This is a great time to plant a seed regarding your spirituality. So as with everybody, I've been asking everybody to ask themselves the question, if you could have a spiritual superpower, what would that be? And then you need to wish for that. So now that's happening for you in your fourth house. So 
Mm, spiritual superpower in regards to your fourth house of home. Maybe you want to be a bit more like Marie Kondo. Maybe you want to take hold of something like a chunk of lapis lazuli and okay, does it, does it, you know, do I get the ching? Like, <laughs> you know how he does that? Like you hold it and if it goes, oh, then get rid of it. And maybe you want to have some kind of feng shui type superpower. Because, I mean, you look at her, she's running around the world stage right now with this spiritual superpower of going ching. So <laughs> maybe you want to find some kind of spiritual superpower in connection with your home. Isn't that fascinating? That is something to contemplate. I shall let you be creative with that Sagittarius moon. Uh, let's have a look at your full moon, or I should say the full moon, not your full moon, because it's everybody's full moon. It's affecting us all. For you particularly, though, it's happening in your 11th house, and that's Libra, Chitra Nakshatra, on the 19th of April. Full moon in your 11th house. Libra, Chitra, Nakshatra, 19th of April. This is a time to look back on the picture of your life so far, the painting of your life. You, you've got a paintbrush here. We've got Venus-Mercury conjunction happening in the fourth. So you are painting the picture of your life. How do you like it? You know, this is, this is just a time to reflect. This is just a time to look at the culmination of your entire life. How do you like that painting? You're holding the brush, right? How do you like it? What does it mean to you? Do, how do you want to move that brush differently on the canvas? This is really a time to be thinking about that, just to be contemplating, just to be looking at, back at that full picture. Through the contemplation of that, things will occur to you and you'll get some ideas of how you want to change it going forward and there's going to be new energies coming through where you'll be able to make some changes. So Sagittarius Moon, thank you so much for joining. We are going to welcome Capricorn Moon. Capricorn Moon, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, I want to ask you, I want to check in. I've got a little note up here, first phase of Sade Sati. I just want to check in with that. How How is that going for you? Are you doing okay? You know, um, take it easy with Sade Sati. It's not, it's, wow, that's a big time. Um, you know, don't push yourself too hard if you are feeling the effects of it, is, is what I'd like to say. For some of you, it's going to be busy. Some people have a very busy side of there where they're manifesting, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Are you getting some rest if you're one of those people? If you're not, and if you're finding it hard, are you being easy on yourself? You know, are you resting? Are you, regardless, I mean, it, how it manifests is, um, it can be really quite varied, but all round, uh, you know, are you, are you looking after yourself, Capricorn Moon? So I just want to check in with you about that. Uh, we're going to have a look at three planetary placements in particular. First one is Sun in the fourth house. Uh, that's 14th of April. So it's Sun in Aries, which is fantastic. Um, but Sun is really going to be in your fourth house, 14th April onwards. So this is a lack of, yeah, you could, you could be encountering kind of a lack of understanding by people all around. This could be family, co-workers. Uh, property matters might be tricky at this time. Tension in dealing with mum, that could be a possibility as well. Mum's health, that kind of thing might be a bit of an issue. Let's have a look at Mars in the fifth house. This is a continuation, so this energy is going to be in operation for that whole time, um, for the whole of April. So this is not ideal, this particular transit. Uh, mental tensions and worries, expenses might shoot up. Yeah, you might want to be careful. Watch, watch your health a bit. And if you've got children, watch their health, right? Venus-Mercury conjunction happening in your third house. That's 16th April onwards. So Venus is strong here. This is good. This is nice. This is, this is, this is nice, nice energy here. Mercury's not great here particularly, but Venus is. Um, gains from friends, good times with friends, opportunities, great time to meet someone. If you're single, get out and mingle. Uh, you've got Rahu in the sixth house. Now I did a video about that earlier, so you can go back and have a look. There is a video about Rahu, uh, Ketu Shift. But I just want to check in with you. You've got Rahu in the sixth house. How are you doing with it? That's a positive for you, right? This is a, okay, you might be inside Isati, 
And you've got a very good one and a half year transit with Rahu. So don't forget that. This is great for you. Um, great time to grow, grow, grow your career and great time to really go for it. We've got two moons. Uh, new moon happening, Pisces, Revati, Nakshatra on the 5th of April. And that's happening in your third house. This is a great time to plant a seed regarding your spirituality. And you can ask yourself the question, if you wanted to have a superpower a spiritual superpower what would it be now this is happening in your third house so a spiritual superpower could be well i want to be courageous in the face of fear <laughs> how amazing would that be if you could just be like that all the time but you know think about things like that think about what what would your spiritual superpower be if you could have one now's the time to think about it so that's a good thing to wish for on this new moon uh, full moon happening in the 10th house uh, in Libra, Chitra Nakshatra, 19th of April. This is really a time to just look back on the painting of your life, the picture of your life so far. Okay, and we've got Venus Mercury conjunction happening there in the third. You take that paintbrush, look at the picture of your life that you've painted. How do you want to change that? How do you like it? You know, do you like it? What do you like about it? This is a time of reflection. Just reflect. You don't have to do anything. Just, just, it's just pure observation and reflection. Through the observation of that, you'll get some ideas on how to create your life going forward. So Capricorn Moon, I wish you well. And I'm going to welcome Aquarius Moon. Aquarius Moon, welcome. Today we are going to have a look at three placements in particular. And then we're going to have a look at new moon dates and we're going to have a look at full moon dates. So Sun in the third house... Uh, yes, it's exalted sun in Aries, but for you it's happening in your third house. Oh, this is beautiful. This is great. On the 14th of April. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Fantastic. Aquarius moon, you're one of the lucky ones. So you're going to have a great transit with the sun. Uh, it's exalted. It's beautiful. It's very happy where it is in the third house. This is great for professional progress, courage, happiness, good health, wealth, all the good stuff. Tune into your sun because your Mars is not brilliant your mars is going through the fourth house and this is a continuation energy so it's happening all across all of april so there are some hurdles to do with mars there's opposition you want to watch out for your health your mother's health that's not the best transit so focus on the sun really do your sun salutations when you go out feel the sun on your face and say thank you wear yellow right wear yellow wear bright colors uh, honor the sun this is a good time now Venus Mercury is conjunct and is happening in your second house. That's from the 16th April onwards. Both are strong here. This is beautiful. So I'm really happy for you about this. Great time to buy new things. Great time to treat yourself. Enjoy time with the family. Singles, get out and mingle. You never know. You might meet somebody. So I'm really happy for you about that. Uh, you're also very lucky. Aquarius Moon, you're very lucky in terms of Saturn in the 11th. How's it going? How is that for you? Um, yeah, you are, I think you're the ones coming up to Sadi Sati, aren't you? So uh, enjoy this transit. Okay, it's going to run up until, what is it, 2020? So Saturn in the 11th, how is it? Now, Saturn in the 11th, materializing spiritual dreams and wishes. You've got Ketu here, Ketu and Saturn. So you can materialize some spiritual downloads and it could be in regards to spiritual dreams and wishes it could be um mm, this leads nicely into the new moon which is about spiritual superpowers so i mean you're going to be materializing some of these things this is nice uh new moon happening in your second house this is pisces in pisces revati nakshatra on the 5th of april so this is a great time to plant a seed regarding your spirituality. And I've been asking all signs, ask yourself the question, if you could have a spiritual superpower, what would it be? And then wish for that. So now this is happening in your second house. So maybe your spiritual superpower, and I mean, think practical here, second house, right? Think, um, I want to be more forgiving to my family members, you know? That's a good spiritual superpower to wish for. Uh, that's a big one. Can we achieve that in one lifetime? You know, being being forgiving towards our family members, towards our parents. That's a big one. It's a good one to wish for. It's a new moon, so you can wish for anything. 
you've got a full moon, we've all got a full moon, but yours is happening in the ninth house. Now, so we've all got this full moon happening in Libra, Chitra and Nakshatra on the 19th of April. So this is a really a time to look back on the painting, on the picture of your life so far. We've got this beautiful Venus-Mercury conjunction happening here. The artist, you're holding the paintbrush. Stand back, look at the painting of your life. Who's in it? Are you, you know, you're with family? You've got your, um, your mom and your dad, or maybe they're not there. Maybe you've got your husband, your children, or maybe it's you. Maybe it's um, ninth house as well, ninth house. Maybe you, you're going to have, you look, at, you look at that picture that you're painting. Maybe you've got some gurus there, teachers. What about the people who inspire you? What about leaders? What about, you know, who's in this painting? And how do you like the painting of your life? What, what does it make you feel? How do you feel? This is something to do on the 19th of April. It's a real big full moon, actually, looking back on the picture of your life. It's really big. How do you like it? And through the contemplation of that, ideas will come as to how you want to change it. So Aquarius moon, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for joining. I wish you well. I wish you a beautiful month ahead. And we are going to welcome Pisces moon. Pisces moon, welcome. So today we're going to have a look at three placements in particular and then we're going to have a look at your new moon and we're going to have a look at the full moon as well. So we've got the sun in the second house. Uh, yes, it's exalted in Aries, but for you it's the second house. So that's 14th April onwards. There could be some financial hurdles in relation to this. Uh, not a great time to take out loans. Um, be careful with your spending. Remember, sun likes to burn up the money, right? Uh, it's happening in your second house, so be careful with headaches and stress. Um, yeah, I had some headaches. This was like a couple of weeks ago and I was just, yeah, I think that there was something to do with my second house. I can't remember. I should look that up. Uh, let's have a look at this. Oh, lucky you. You've got a good Mars transit. This is great. Mars in your third house. This is a continuation energy. This is happening for you all month. This is really good. Um, great for profits. Great for wealth, health, building career. This is the third house. This is courage. This is time to manifest. This is beautiful. Uh, feel fearless. Go for it. Go, go, go. You know? Uh, Venus and Mercury happening, Venus Mercury conjunction happening in your first house is from the 16th April onwards. So Venus is strong here. Great. If you're single, great time to mingle, right? Great time to meet someone. Uh, let's take a look at this new moon. New moon is happening in Pisces in Revati Nakshatra on the 5th of April, and that's happening in your first house. So this is a great time to plant a seed regarding your spirituality. And as with all signs, I've been saying to everybody, ask yourself the question, if you could have a spiritual superpower, what would it be? And for you, it's happening in your first house. So my goodness, your spiritual superpower. Maybe you want to ask for... Um, maybe you want to wish for a spiritual superpower that I... I'm not addicted to coffee. That's a controversial one. Uh, I, I know that one because I used to wish for wanting to quit coffee for years and I wasn't able to do it. Kind of just about there now. I have one a week maybe and when I do have one, um, it's decaf. So I'm pretty proud of myself for getting to this point. Uh, maybe it will vanish from my life altogether. I don't know. But it's kind of wishing for a spiritual superpower in regards to your physical body. So that's why I brought up the caffeine thing. But it's, it's like, you know, or maybe you want to do yoga, and maybe you want to, or maybe you want to, I don't know, like um, have a yoga routine or a spiritual superpower. Maybe you want to physically become a bit more psychic or tuned in, or you know that kind of thing, or be a better receiver. You want your body to be a better receiver of divine guidance how about that for a new seed to plant something along those lines and then of course we've got a full moon happening in Libra and um, Chitra Nakshatra on the 19th of April and that's happening in your eighth house so this is a time to look back on the picture of your life so far so you're painting this beautiful painting of your life and this is a time to look back on what the painting is now what you've created so far so this is happening in your eighth house so who's in that painting right could be your spouse could be your spouse's family could be your family could be um could be even people to do with work or but it's your life it's it's your career it's your work it's who you are it's um and eighth house it could be who you are spiritually 
you know, this great big painting of your life. You're holding the brush. Hi, Pisces moon. Sorry about that. It just got cut. But I think we were just about at the end anyway. I think I was just talking about, and I didn't re-watch the video, so apologies if I'm repeating myself, but Libra, so full moon, Libra, Chitra Nakshatra, 19th of April. This is a time where you're going to be looking back on the picture of your life. You've got the paintbrush, Venus and Mercury conjunction there. You've got this beautiful paintbrush and you're reflecting, you're looking back. You're looking back at the painting of your life. You're looking back at how it looks to you who's in it, what's there, how you feel about it. And um, this is a time of realization as well and, and, and knowing that as you reflect back on your whole life and that picture of your whole life, it will give you, illuminate some ideas as, as to where you'd like to take it. Where would you like to take it? You know, that, that will start to emerge. So Pisces Moon, it's looking like a pretty good month um, overall for you uh, as I say a lot of a lot of the action is happening mid-April onwards Mars of course is is there for the whole of the month so that's great take advantage of that for you that's brilliant you're lucky in that way great for profits wealth health Mars in the third enjoy that great for building courage so Pisces moon I hope you enjoyed that little overview um, and please do subscribe I know I've probably only got Pisces moon people left now to the end of this, but, uh, well, you guys are the best anyway. Don't tell any of the other signs I said that. <laughs> I'm not Pisces moon, by the way. Uh, I just like you guys because you're last and I tend to chill out here and, and you know that. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, feel free to leave a comment and do all that fun stuff. And I'm wishing you a great April. This is go time. This is show time. This is, you know, we got to we got to go now. You know, this is this is um, we've got to build. We've got to create the new earth. There's a lot of work we have to do. So I hope you're as excited about that as I am. And I'm always so glad to finish with you guys, Pisces Moon. Always so glad to finish with you because you're super spiritual. And I mean, look at this. Wishing for a spiritual superpower. Well, you are that. You just you just are a spiritual superpower. You know what I mean? That could be your name. So um, Pisces Moon, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time.